let's discuss the confederation of the alliance of sahel states this is very important and this is not to be confused with the sahel alliance which has already come and gone it used to exist from the year 2017 and it was dissolved by the year 2023 so this is a different organization different uh, alliance the confederation of the alliance of sahel states or aes is a mutual defense pact believed to be brokered by russia so this is not a confirmed thing it is just believed to be brokered by russia so in the very onset you understand that russia might have something to gain from this and it's a mutual defense pact but if you look at the map over there you you would find that it, it doesn't seem to be very uh, you know uh, quite a large organization or a large alliance it seems to be made up of only three countries now let's look at take a look at the members the members are burkina faso Mala, mali and niger now let's have a look a closer look at each of these nations burkina faso you can see that this tiny country here it was previously known as the Republic of Upper Volta. That's because of the Volta River in that vicinity. And it used to be a former French, it is a former French colony. It is one of, this part is important. It is one of the least developed countries in the world. And its capital is Ogadougou. The current government is unitary republic under a military agenda now what do you mean by unitary unitary means that the power is not dispersed any decision is just made at the center it's a republic because supposedly there is some sort of election under a military agenda when you say military agenda it's more like a military committee so you could you can conclude that the military is running the government and Burkina Faso used to be a French colony. Now, moving on to Mali. See, if you remember, this is where you had Burkina Faso. Now, right on top and to the left of it, you have Mali. Its capital is Bamako and that also used to be a French colony. The current government at Mali is a unitary president republic under a military agenda so again you find the unitary part where the, all the decisions are made by the center only but the head is a president and he is elected and this is all working under the military agenda again so the military is in charge now moving on to niger see where did you find mali this was mali and this over here was burkina faso now coming to Mali, its capital is Niamey and that also Niger was also a French colony before. Its current government is unitary, republic and under a military junta. So unitary decisions at one place, republic elections do take place but everything happens under the military junta. So what do you find is common between these three countries, Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. The fact that they were all French colonies and they are all under military junta at the moment. Right? Now, let's come back to the confederation of the alliance of Sahel states, that is, their alliance of these three countries. The aim of this alliance is to protect against possible threats of armed rebellion or external aggression. So, if there is a rebellion or even an external aggression or attack from outside, they want to protect themselves. That is why there is a mutual defense pact. Then any attack on the sovereignty and territorial integrity of one or more will be considered an aggression against the other parties. Now, this is quite similar to the stated uh, mode, uh, objective of NATO where an attack against one or more would be considered an attack against all of them, all the countries which are member countries. 
members of it. Similarly, in this, if there is attack on one or more, it would be considered an attack against the other parties too. Then, this alliance seeks closer ties with Russia as France has been unable to curb the ongoing jihadist insurgency since the year 2003. So, if you have watched my earlier uh, video about the Sahel region, you would find that the Sahel region has had ongoing jihadist insurgency from the year 2003. So, France has had some sort of presence in this area because France has many uh, former colonies in this area. But they have not been able to control the insurgency because of which some of these countries are turning towards Russia right now. So this is important. Now, what would have precipitated the creation of this alliance? That too, a mutual defense pact. Let's have a look, look at this. The alliance was created on 16 September 2023 during the 2023 Nigerian crisis. Nigerian crisis. Mind you, it doesn't say Nigerian. That would have suggested Nigeria. We are talking about Niger here. Let's see. See, over here, you can find Niger. You can find Mali. You have our Burkina Faso here. Now, right below Niger, you find Nigeria. Right? So, both are different. We are talking about Niger, right? So, in September 2023, there was the Nigerian crisis. What happened then? The military had taken over. So, at that time, the economic community of West African states or ECOWAS, they threatened to intervene militarily to restore civilian rule after a military coup in Niger in the early 2023. So, this particular organization, ECOWAS, threatened to invade with their military because they want to restore the civilian rule. They wanted to uh, put the person who was elected, rightfully elected, back into that position and do away with the government set by the military. So, what happened? Let's look at this. Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali are janda let's say. Janda means military janda, more like a committee, military committee since the year 2023. Now, ECOWAS, this organization that we saw over here, the Economic Community of West African States. What did they do? They suspended these three countries, Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali, their membership due to military takeover of their respective governments. We have already seen that similarity. So, what happened? ECOWAS suspended them. And ECOWAS went a step further. They threatened to use military force by deploying its standby force if the coup leaders failed to reinstate constitutionally elected presidents and governments. So, they, so they just said that do away, with, do away with your military governments and put back the others in place those who were constitutionally elected but though ECOWAS did threaten this were they really in a position to do any pal you know uh, make any significant impact that was not so the reality was that ECOWAS lacked the support wherewithal and institutional strength to follow through so they never had the resources to make that happen however Faced with such a situation where ECOFAS would invade them militarily, what happened? In the year 2023, Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali, they announced that they will withdraw from ECOWAS. And then this, confederate, this confederation was set up. Confederation, the alliance of Sahel State was set up. That's it.